So in the last class, we uh, created the page list of vehicles, but right now we don't have any vehicle inside uh, because we don't have employees for now. For now, I've not showed you how to handle null values. I've not showed you how to handle images. We are going to do that a little later. So now we've added vehicles. We've added everything in the vehicles module. Vehicle hire, we have um, uh, movement, we have every other thing. But now we don't have employees. So if I go to employees, we have nothing in here. Now I'd like to show you how the employee page actually looks like. This is how the employee page looks like. So you have uh, the image of the employee uh, and you have the, you have, you're able to edit an employee record, you're able to upload an image, you're able to add new employee. So this is what we are going to be working with at this time. So let me uh, take out this one and so let's go to stats as usual. If you're joining for the first time, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. And also, if you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. If you have any recommendations as well to improve this class, please let me know. So we are going to go to first open the employee model. You already have it. Uh, you can check the models folder I gave you. Just check there, you can find it and then you use it to make up the employee model. So now this is what the employee model looks like. Open up. Uh, we have this. We have hire date, we have job title, we have username, we have photo, we have employee ID. As I mentioned, this JSON identity info, you can actually remove it because it is useful for sure. At some point, I'm going to explain to you what it's all about. But for now, remove it. Also take note that employee inherits from person. So it means that if you drop down at this point, you can see, um, sorry, let's just go to person. This is person. And you can see that employee inherits all this, right? So, so that's one thing to bear in mind. So the first thing we want to do is to create the employee service. And then after we create the employee service, we create the employee controller. So at this point, let's open the services folder. And then let's use the client service to create the employee service. We'll go to employee service. And I'm going to simply copy from the client and use it to create the employee service. So copy everything in the client service and just use it to replace the, the content of the employee service and then change the client to employee. Control F on your keyboard and take note that it has to be case sensitive because the lowercase and uppercase are actually the same. Are actually not the same in Java. So client employee, right, replace all and do the same thing for the lowercase. So I'm going to just select any lowercase client, paste and Control F and change it to employee lowercase as well. I'm going to just say replace all and close. All right, so we've created the service. Let's now try to create the controller. So we are going to open the controller package at this time and then also use an existing controller to create a new employee controller. If I open the employee controller at this time, you see that there is nothing in there, actually this only is meant to serve the HTML page. And let's just use also the client controller to create the employee controller. Um, I think that should be fine. I'm gonna use this, or maybe let's use the vehicle controller to create the employee controller. Uh, this vehicle controller is this, uh, yeah, you. So I'm going to kind of copy everything and I'm going to copy and paste. Control V to paste. Again, I'm going to kind of take out all of this. I'm going to change uh, vehicle to employee. I'm going to change vehicle to employee. So I'm going to um, select, do Control F, change it to employee. And I'm going to just say replace all. And do the same thing for uppercase. Control F, employee and replace all as well, replace all, okay. So now we need to worry about the items that we need to send to the template. Remember, we need to send some items to the, to the template. So let me open again the, or maybe, yeah, let me open the, the complete file, the complete um, application so that let's see what goes across. 
is running on port 8081. Okay, so we have this. So we, we need go to add new. We need title. We need gen or uh, gender no gender is uh, hard coded. Title is it hard coded? Yes, it's hard, hard coded. So we only need nationality states. Marit marital status is hard coded as well. So we need nationality. Uh, states, job title, and employee type. So four items uh, have to go. Let me take all this from here. And uh, let's see. So let's go back here. So we need four items together with employee. So I'm going to just take out two. So left with five. So employee service, employee service, and I need job, title, service, and we need employee type employee type uh we need what else um let me see okay we now need state and country we need state and country we need country service and we also need state service state service all right so so this is gonna be job title service, job title service, and this is going to be employee type service, employee type service, and this is going to be country service, country service, and finally state service, state service as well. All right. So again, I'm going to just take out two of them because we only need uh, the five, right? Let me just cross check again. Let's just count it again. So let's see. We have our uh, uh, nationality. That's one, two, three, four, four, and a five is a, is a key thing. This is that is the list of employees. For some reason, this button actually behaves funny. All right, so let's continue from where we stopped. So we have a compress control shift zero on my keyboard and this corrects all this. So here we have employees. <coughs> so here I can have job titles. And here I'll have um, employee types. And the next one is going to be countries, countries. And the last one is going to be states. All right, so we have, I can just copy this and paste in. Uh, let me start with job title service, copy this and paste it here. Copy the next one, employee type and paste it here. Copy the next one, country service, copy and paste it here, control V and state service copy it as well and paste it at the last part so this is likely to be get uh, get states i think states right and this is going to be get countries so i already explained this to you but if you have challenges do let me know so this is going to be get employee types get employee types and this is going to be get job titles all right so uh do i have anything like employee status no so there is no employee status so you can think of how you can be innovative maybe to add something like employee status so basically we are done with the employee controller um okay so i'm going to save everything I've already uh, done that. So the next thing we are going to be working on now is the template and the template, the HTML template inside the template folder. And I'm going to open it. It's going to be employee.html, which is this one, employee.html, employee management page. And you can do control F and, and look for page uh, start. In page start, you need to put the content of this page, which actually is the table, which actually is a is a table. 
of employees, right? So you can copy from an existing page the content between the page start and the page end and place it in between here and then make your changes. That I already did and I'm simply going to copy from where I have it and for you, do the copy from what from a page that you already have and then uh, make the modification me i already made the modification and now i have employee first name okay now i'm gonna explain something so in the employee model we have the first name and we have the last name but in the in the table here in the employee management page we want to display the full name which is a concatenation of the employee first name and the employee last name so this is how you do it in time leave. You take the first one and close and call the braces, concatenate with an empty space, and then take the last one, which is the employee, that last name, and close and call the braces. So you can always do this uh, with anything, right? So if you want to concatenate more, more items, you can actually do that. So I want to also display the hire date, the, the email, the, the city, and the phone. All right, so I'm going to save everything. And now we also need to add the models. I already have created and modified the models. So I'm, go I'm just going to uh, paste it as well. And you also have a file, so you can also uh, use it to cross check to know where you have challenges. So the models is going to be placed somewhere here. Somewhere here, I placed it. Now we have this photo model, I'm going to remove it because we've not talked about anything about photo. So the next thing we are going to do is to add the script tag. So I'm going to add the script tag and link to the link to the JS file that we are going to be working with. So it's going to be JS slash employee.js and I'm going to put the, uh, the enclosing tag at the end. All right, so hopefully we are fine now this delete button which is actually the confirm delete button uh, is DLRF I like to change it to confirm delete for you you can leave it or you can change it to anything you want so this is what we have now take note that when we come to marital status here we have these items here they are hard coded because it doesn't make any sense to store marital status in in the, in the database, you can just have call it married, single, divorce, widow, and, and things like that. And another thing that is hard coded, let me check, why do we have error? Okay, no matter what, okay, I don't know. So, another thing that is hard coded is the gender. The gender, which I can either be only male or female, although some people say they are something else, but I, I think they are only two male, female. Um, then we also have the title, so we have Mr, Mrs, Doctor, Professor, blah, 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 blah. So you can add as many as you want right there. So I'm going to just save everything. Finally, let's go to work on the JavaScript file for the employee. So I'm going to just copy one and let me just copy one of them and use it to create the employee.js. So I'm copying the client. And I'm going to right click on the folder, the JS folder, and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to change this to employee.js. Okay. What are we missing out? Uh, for now, I think we are fine. I'm going to save everything. I already did. And okay. So I think I should now test this application. So let's run it and let's try to assess the employees page. At this point, we should be able to have a pop-up that displays uh, the, the model for add new employee. But for now, we can't add anything. Again, before this runs, let me just show you something. We have the label for each of the inputs uh, fields. We have a label, right? We have a label has an attribute for. For is equal to, and you specify the ID of the label for which that input works. What does it mean? This for attribute makes it that when you click on the label, it transfers the focus to the particular input field which that label is working for. So if you click on, I'm going to just try to see, we can just demonstrate it. So if I refresh this page, now we should have uh, the functionality to add uh, a new employee. So now we have the ID, we have the title, we have initials. So when I click on the initials, it transfers the 
the control, the focus to this text box. That is why we have when the initial in the initial label we have four attributes is equal to the ID of this text field, and the same goes for the first name. But you can see it doesn't work because the four attributes it is not set. Here it works as well. Okay, so let's check that we have the uh, list of items sent across. This is hard coded, is okay. Hard coded is okay. Nationality sent, you can see. And state of province is okay. And marital status hard coded. Job title is okay. And um, employee type is okay as well. All right, so the next thing we are going to be doing, this is going to be very interesting. We are going to be working on images, all right? So this is what we would like to achieve. Because right now we've created all, almost all our all our entities. So how do we now add this neat little images right here? Uh, this is me, as you can see. <laughs> this is a very funny one. Okay, so how do we add the images and how do we um, make them pop up on the screen like this? Okay, that is what we are going to be doing in the next class. I'd like to thank you for being there. Uh, we are gradually completing the project. So if you check where we are at this point, you see we've created almost everything. And let's meet in the next class. If you have any challenges, let me know. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comment box below. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe. Also share around with your friends.